Today's video brings us to the historic center of Chapala and a remarkable home that was built almost a century ago. It dates back to an era when the rich and famous flocked to the town of Chapala. Spectacular villas and mansions hosted presidents and movie stars. Tycoons and artists, writers and dancers, the creme of Mexico City society, and foreign ambassadors and adventurers were all here. It was the golden age of Chapala, when it was known as the Switzerland of the Americas. Center to this was the Cuevas family. Luis Cuevas was the son of a governor, and his wife Natalia was a philanthropist. They owned two of the town's major prestige hotels and the beer garden, which was the place to see and be seen. And today's home was their personal residence. Hola, hola, I'm Hal Forsyth of Lake Chapala Real Estate. Welcome to yet another of my listings, Casa de Colores. It's a landmark home in Chapala with a rare pedigree. It sits on a corner lot just one block from the Malacan and one block from the town's main boulevard, Avenido Bendero. It allows a close walkable life to the plaza and the mercado for fresh flowers, fruits, vegetables, meat and fish, numerous restaurants and coffee shops, the Malacan and pier with performance stages, fountains and parks, the spectacular Church of San Francisco and the exclusive Chapala Yacht Club yet it is gently buffered away on a smaller calle only four blocks long. The home is so large that when the current owners bought it some 18 years ago, it had been divided into a duplex, with the lower floor housing a large foyer, living and dining room, kitchen with a breakfast room, four bedrooms and three and a half baths with a covered terrace, and a second floor home with another living room and dining room, plus a den, a kitchen, two bedrooms and a bath. The new owners were enchanted and loved the property, but struggled to find a way for it to fit into their modern lifestyle. The solution was found when they met a gifted engineer architect with a vision. Keeping the high ceilings gracious and spacious rooms with their arches, balconies, and courtyards, they actually increased the size of the building, adding a third floor penthouse for themselves and dividing the original two floors into four income generating apartments, each with two bedrooms. This is another of those properties that offer privacy with a wall buffering you from the street. The principal corner wall has become a canvas for the famous artist Jesus Lopez Vega with a stunning mural honoring the spiritual life lakeside. The building walls are a celebration of festive and joyful color framed with soaring palm trees and blooming bougainvillea that has made it one of the most photographed iconic facades in our lakeside community. It is, however, what lies behind these happy walls that I'm so excited to show you. Let's go inside. A grilled street gate leads into a courtyard with a staircase. While this is primarily for the owner's penthouse, there is a door on the second floor landing that is a second kitchen entrance to one of the apartments. I love the colorful tiles on these stairs and the Toltec Cantera stone art hanging at the barn door entrance to the penthouse. It is a soaring space with two walls of palladium windows. The south-facing windows are topped with glass gables that flood the dining room with natural light and lead to a balcony terrace. The owners even installed a motorized dumbwaiter for groceries. How perfect is that? The floor plan is a modern open concept with a dining room furnished for six but with space for a grand dinner and a living space with more palladium windows facing to the west. Between them is the turret tower room that was the original crown of the home. Now it is a cozy office den with a fireplace with spectacular views. Wow. There are two bedrooms, one with three more palladium windows looking south towards the lake and an ensuite bath. The other has windows to the north as well as the south and is air conditioned. A second full bath services this bedroom, dinner guests, and allows a flex bonus room to also be utilized as a third bedroom if you wish. I love this flex room which is currently used as an art studio 
with a wall of built-in cabinets and a beautiful stained glass window. The kitchen is an efficient galley, but if you are a cook like me, you could easily expand the kitchen into that flex room. In crafting this video, I knew that with the property size, I had a major challenge to keep this video to a reasonable length. Then I realized that the most important segment would be the owner's penthouse. This was most likely where a new owner would live. The apartments would be important, really just to show how appealing, charming, and spacious they were. All four of the apartments are two bedroom and one bath. I think this is an ideal size as it gives the renter a bonus bedroom for occasional guests, but can also serve as a home office or den. The building has a common laundry area, but all of the apartments have their own washer and dryer hookups if the renter would like to make that investment. All of the apartments have their own electrical meter to maximize income for the property owner, and the entire building has upgraded electrical, gas, and plumbing. There are two ground floor apartments, both of which are wheelchair accessible and have their own private gated entrance. They both enjoy front terraces and garden spaces. One even has a fireplace in the bedroom, but the other has a fountain courtyard. The two second floor apartments both have private entrance patios and one has a wraparound balcony. To me, the genius of this property is the romantic Mexican charm. On the penthouse floor, we saw the use of hand-painted Talavera tiles, the brick bovita ceilings, the exposed beams and clay tiles, brick arches and art niches. The four rental apartments all have high ceilings and larger than normal rooms, arched doors, wrought iron details, and more colorful hand-painted tiles. The redesign was respectful of the privacy and the desirable outdoor spaces renters crave. The location for tenants is ideal, and in their years as landlords, the current owners have enjoyed full occupancy and consistent income, often with a waiting list for tenants. The dream of many expats coming to the Lake Chapala area is a home that has all these authentic Mexican elements. Many buyers also have rentals in the United States or Canada that are now difficult to manage remotely. Casa de Colores allows the passive income stream to continue, but also providing a personal home, all in one property. Our demographic of new buyers has shifted with people in their 50s or younger. If you are not yet of an age to retire, this property allows a secure income that makes moving to Mexico financially viable. If you now live lakeside, but you wish your children or grandchildren were closer, this could be just the investment property that could make that dream come true. Historical homes like this in a prime location are extremely rare and prized. Casa de Colores is competitively priced at $815,000 furnished, with only a few personal furniture items and artwork not included. As a landlord, it's a turnkey investment with renters already in place. I'm Hal Forsyth of Lake Chapala Real Estate. Thank you for virtually viewing, and please contact me directly to schedule a private showing. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos and listings.